Hi, Supertruce here, back with another Into Murder Mentions New Game Minus 4 video, episode 2. And it's been a few days since last episode, and... Yeah, okay, so so it, it wasn't just me thinking it's wrong. It actually is 10 fourth time dimensions. Which means I am going to need new strategies, but it wasn't, it's not just two. So, the tick, the tick upgrades are actually more powerful than they are in New Game Minus 3, which is interesting. It's probably best to just get the time dimension stuff rather than... I can probably just max the time dimension stuff. This is a little bit expensive, but I can I can get it. And... And I am getting 39 ants, I'm at 40 ants, it's, it's actually going up at a reasonable pace. I'm 46, okay, okay, it, I, maybe it's not a reasonable pace, it's 53, 50, I mean, it seems to be okay, considering, like how, you know, new game minus 4, so I'm gonna need a lot, a lot of antimatter to get, so it seems like this game is just very different because it's going to be harder and harder and harder to get additional time dimension shifts so there there is a change i will eventually i think be getting dimension shifts and since that's a lower reset than time dimension shift um, that'll help me get to the time dimension shifts and i'm gonna need a lot of antimatter like this is in hexadecimal so it's really so it's it's a little bit different like I, I may just go into another notation because like if I go into like logarithm yeah I'm about 10,000 antimatter so I mean it's it's better than what it was before but it's still it is going to take a long time to to get anywhere and the galaxies, I think, is a higher reset than the time dimension shifts. So when I do a galaxy, that resets all my time dimension. Hopefully the achievement rows are going to be powerful because this is insane. Like, there's... You can just see how slow... How, how much? 96 days. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Okay, I'm back roughly a day later, and first thing I noticed is that it gave me a notification for this achievement infinite time yes it one i i thought this is far but this is yeah 10th row achievement and it's get three oh 308 tick speed upgrades in one eternity that's a later game mechanic from time dimensions and the reward is that time dimensions are affected slightly more by tick speed except i don't think there's any tick speed this achievement is actually it's really weird because in the new game plus 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 this is actually a major cause of growth. Like, if you didn't have this achievement, you you would have a lot less antimatter and a lot less production of many different resources. So, yeah. It's funny that I'm getting this achievement now because, um, yeah, if we, go, if we go over to time dimensions, yeah, 375 tick speed upgrades. I don't think I, can, I, don't think I can get the next one of these. I can get, or actually, maybe I can six no i can't seven eight this is almost all but as i want it though I, I want that last okay anyway third dimension fourth dimension i can do a dimension shift but i'm not sure if that's really worth it i'm just gonna get some of these which oh yeah it, it works this works just like new game minus 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 which is interesting these are some cheap tick speed upgrades so i'm gonna get them and then it's actually moving. Our antimatter is actually moving. I'm, I'm gonna keep buying these and anything below E8 in hexadecimal. So yeah, these, these, I can actually get quite a lot of these. And I I actually have a lot of time shards. That's E24 in hexadecimal. That's like E30 something. Um, yeah, look at that. That barely doesn't cost anything. It's weird. It's actually moving. I can't believe it's moving. Just keep, I, I, I'm just gonna keep getting these. Boom, that's a bunch. Okay, that barely did anything. Why is it barely doing anything? It's not, wait, it doesn't even boost the time dimensions? This isn't moving. 
Wow, I, th I thought this would move a lot more considering what I'm getting here. I guess I can get a few more tick speed upgrades. And then there's this, which actually gives me a decent multiplier on all my dimensions. What do I even need? I need 2.54EB. So I'm, I'm already at A, so it shouldn't be that hard to get. I can actually, it's, it's realistically doable at this point, which means I don't need to dimension shift because that's just going to be a big waste of time. Like, you know, that's, yeah. And, and I don't know why this is still doing nothing because I'm, I'm clicking this and it's just not, not changing these multipliers. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe it's somehow based on like, like this. I, I'm not exactly sure, but anyway, it's actually, it's not work. The, the grind to the 2EB, or 2.54EB, isn't actually that far away. So all I have to do is just wait a minute. Yeah, just a minute in new game minus four. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's crazy to think. Actually, it's not even a minute. I, I, there is potential in this game. So here is the fifth time dimension. It looks like this has been nerfed for for that and yeah the infinite time multipliers is just one time so it's actually really useful to know that and so i think it i think it's literally just the tick speed upgrades that boost my time dimensions it isn't anything else it's it, that's very strange but i guess that's how it works and now comes the wait to get 10 antimatter not even 10 antimatter Seven and a half antimatter. Yes, it's so low that I literally have to have to that even the decimals take are, are taken into consideration. I, I still think that's crazy, but yeah, this is still slow. No matter how much like potential speed up there even is, it's gonna remain very slow. And actually, one interesting thing I've noticed is that. The antimatter galaxies, that's a higher reset than time dimension shift, but you get it from a lower reset than time dimension shift. So like you need to build up dimension just dimension shifts, which is lower than time dimension shift. It's very confusing, but I whatever, that that's how it works. So there's not much else I can do but wait. I'm I'm just gonna test to see if getting one of this is actually gonna do anything. Okay, we're back, and we can get 10 antimatter, and this does nothing, so... Okay, it's it's a good lesson to learn. Don't buy these unless you're buying the highest one. Yeah, or h highest... Buying equal or higher than the highest one. So, th these are still fine to buy, but just get, getting something like this, this is not going to do anything. So, yeah, here comes another big waiting session. Hopefully we can get to the next... Maybe we can get the, our first galaxy. If we get a... Is there any nice reward for... Ooh, there's a reward for this. Upon a time dimension boost... I, I'm still shifting the time dimensions. I can't boost them yet. I'm up to fifth time dimensions. Uh, but anyway... Your dimension boosts do not reset. Ooh. Unless you have more time dimension boosts than dimension boosts. So that's actually really... Nice reward. And it looks like a lot of have really good rewards. This one is the same as a new game minus 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 reward. This one I think is also the same as a new game minus 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 reward. So you, you can just see the new game minus X stuff is sort of like there's there's stuff on top of each other. So but there actually is hope of a speed up in new game minus four, which is crazy to say. Okay. I'm back, and I, I, I thought it was gonna be faster than this. I feel like this is slower than it should have been. Still get these time dimensions. I think I really just need the highest time dimension. I don't need anything else. I can get some tick speed upgrades here, but that's about it. I mean, I, I am getting now 35, 30. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of antimatter per second, but not as much as I thought it would be. So. Maybe we should just keep trying to get dimension shifts. Not much I can do here. Seen a bit. Okay, so it's been like almost several days. Yeah, it's been several days. And I just maxed everything 
I even max this. I don't know why it does that, but we can get a new time dimension. So I guess, yeah, that, that's pretty cool. But really not much I can do besides that. Like it's, it's, it's starting to get faster, but you know, it's, it's relative in the beginning. It just takes forever for everything to just like start, start going because of just the insanely slow multiplier. This, the sixth time dimension actually costs, instead of 320, it costs 5e6 in hexadecimal. So that's probably more like e10 in, in the regular decimal system. But these runs, I'm noticing, like once, once you get it going, they're actually not that slow. It's just the beginning. There's just like an, I would say maybe an hour long time wall in the beginning. They can't really get through. But once you're past that hour, it's actually reasonable for quite a while. And maybe I could start going for actual dimension shifts instead of time dimension shifts. That's next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out.